internet. It's Mog White here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today, I am going to provide what you want the most, at least as of right now. I do read my comments, and I know that a lot of you are searching for an anti burn list. So, this weekend is going to be anti Piltover Nox's burn weekend. I, I, I guess I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I bring you guys counters to the burn archetype starting today and tomorrow with a different list as well. And the list that I got for you guys today is pretty damn spicy as it is a control deck built with Swain and Spider support. We are mixing Noxus and Shadow Isles, but not in an aggressive deck, which is the type of archetype that you've seen from this region combination in the past. We're going with a slow control deck that is having a similar play style and game plan to the likes of Karina Control, but it does have several perks over that archetype. Naturally, it does have some weaknesses over that archetype as well. Uh, not gonna lie, Karina Control is a very effective control deck, but in my opinion, it's pretty boring. This one is way cooler, and we do have better early to mid-game aggression, which is what I really like about this. Plus, today's gameplay features this deck against Karina Control as well, so I, I think that's a pretty interesting matchup for you guys to check out. Regardless, the main objective of this list is to just make burn players cry. How do we do that? Well, we have an early game comprised of spiders. We have Elise as our early game champion with Atlas Aristocrat, House Spider, and and Frenzy Skitter, alongside Brood Awakening as a full set each. And then as we curve into our late game, we have Swain as a full set as well, and three copies of the motherfucking Leviathan to finish off our opponent, especially in longer, more dragged out matchups against uh, other mid-range lists or control decks. The Leviathan really comes in and represents our late game powerhouse, right? We want to combine Leviathan with Swain to stun the opponent's defenses and go for the kill. The early game is really effective at slowing down early aggression as we are able to generate spiders and have a bunch of chump blockers that only really get shut down by either fearsome or elusive tactics. And as uh, we look at our damage-based reactive resources. We just, we got so many toys to play around with, man. We got Bile Feast, Noxian Fervor, The Box, Full Set of Grasp of the Undying, and Withering Will. All of these deal damage, which means all of them contribute to leveling up Swain. In particular, Noxian Fervor and The Box uh, enable us to level up Swain extremely fast. And these cards, especially the health gains ones, such as Vile Feast, Grasp of the Undying, and Withering Will, are alongside our early game spider game plan, is what pretty much guarantees our 100% win rate against Burn, right? You have to draw extremely bad and have the opponent draw extremely well for you to go down in that matchup. So if you want a deck that effectively just shuts down that strategy, look no further. This will do the work for you, and it is... <laughs> Pretty damn satisfying, if I say so myself. We also have a one-off of Vengeance and Ruination for board states in which damage is not enough, like very, very big units, uh, especially units with tough, like Vi or Radiant Guardian. We need to be able to deal with those, and uh, Vengeance and Ruination helps us do that. Also, Ruination is kind of like a failsafe for mid-range games in which, especially against Bannerman, in which things have gotten a little bit out of hand, and Ranger's Resolve has stopped like a strong Withering Whale, for example. Uh, we have Ruination to board wipe and start from scratch, which can be really key, but we don't want to run neither of these cards uh, more than one copy of each. Uh, I think it's fine as it is. I gotta give a shout out to Control, as he is... Uh, control the board is, is the streamer name he's uh, a fellow streamer from fate to karma who originally designed this concept even though the deck is very different from this one as he was going a little bit more quite more greedy with the deck list as uh, i took uh, quite the spin for it i incorporated the box i toned down like the original list had like three copies of the ruination which i think is <laughs> no deck justifies that amount of ruinations so we we toned it down we made it faster meaner and uh, this deck has just been performing pretty damn well, honestly. It's really fun to play. Uh, it's a different take on control, and it just shits on burn, which is the main purpose of it. And hopefully you guys enjoy playing it. I love playing with Swain. Swain is just so damn satisfying. And what I really like about Swain's interaction, or rather synergy with Elise, is that if we level up Elise, we can use our Spiderlings as uh, challengers to remove away fearsome blockers for Swain and connect onto the Nexus with this 
you know, our Lord and Savior and just completely board wipe them and deal massive damage to the face as well, which is extremely powerful. So that is the deck list right there. Give it a spin, try it out. Uh, you won't regret it. And hopefully you have fun doing so. And hopefully you enjoy the games that I got for you today. I got some pretty diverse gameplay, uh, a lot of different matchups. And obviously we, we got some games against Burns to showcase. So that's all I gotta say. Have a solid day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content on this channel. I do upload a new deck every single day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, come at me, aggro. Come at me. Come on, burn, burn. Burn! No! Shit! Nine! 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 All right. Shit. All right, do they have thermogenic beam? I believe they don't. I pull the Heart of the cards, let's go. Squished. I probably should have let off with the house spider. I could go for the Brute Awakening, but I do not want to play into a Withering Wheel. Yeah, Noxian Fervor is a great way to level up Sway, man. That was one card, and we're halfway there. All right. Novi, 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 Novi. We're gonna go Swain. We have to go Swain here. Like, he's got five mana, so unless he has a Vi, nothing else kills him. Not even Thermogenic Beam. So he has to waste two cards on him. Like, nothing kills him. Six health is too much for him. Nice. Even though Vengeance could be a thing now. Nice. I'm doing this my way. Mahilis, where are you? What's that noise? I know what lurks in the shadows. Should have gone for the vengeance, but at the same time, I want to be able to deal with this. Don't, don't throw him over, don't, yes! It will all be over soon. Come, stay a while. Whoo! Ha ha ha! Bitch! That egg, did it move? He must have a withering whale. 
There's not really much way to play around that, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to... Yeah. Okay, so Withering Wheel is happening here, 100%. So, let's just get it over with. Okay, so Withering Wheel leaves him at um, 8 mana. It's still quite a bit. Playing Elise here is too risky. If I had one more mana, I could have done this, but um, I was already at max, right? So, <laughs> impossible. baby there we go Ooh, clean the matchup we've been waiting for frenzy skitter is uh, all right but I'm gonna drop these two I'm, I'm really hoping to yeah there we go it's sad that cancer burn is even in the top 100 I mean, it's it's the best deck, so <laughs> it's not surprising. All right, um, that's not a. Uh, it would have been worse to see a rear guard there. We're gonna drop E. Uh, drop E. There's nothing to fear. Doesn't really have a, a good like turn two blocker. If he plays a Bunku rookie, he can't block that. But at the same time, he can't. You won't suffer long. This is risky though, because if he has a Crimson Disciple... Oh boy, oh boy, this box. Oh my god, this box. If he plays more than two things... Oh my goodness. Let's make it deep. Okay, that doesn't really... Elise, where are you? A pretty present you'll make. Please, I have connections! No refunds. All for the best, my pet. Bill, Bill, Bill. Man, how, how, how easy mode? Smooth as... How easy mode is this, dude? Holy crap. Even with two Leviathans in his hand, we, we don't care. So young! So young! Let's smack him. Reporting in? We have no reason to like play the box until he starts flooding the board. Until he attacks, basically. Like the box just gives us a failsafe here. Like if he starts like swarming. We don't care.
four cards in hand. We're at 11 health. Feels good, man. I could do that too. I mean, the deck looks okay, but I feel like it's just the worst Karina, to be honest. That's what I, yeah. That, that's what I've been thinking. <laughs> like, no matter how much I look at it, it's, it's just the worst Karina, man. It's fun, though, but it's definitely... It definitely feels like that. I'm gonna drop the Hapless Aristocrat as well. Just because I, I only really want Hapless Aristocrat in like, you know, aggressive matchups. I don't really need him here against Deep. He's just when I he's just gonna like chump block what? Like a, a turn one dredger or something. Even then he's not. The egg. Yeah. Did it move? It's just not worth a slot in my hand. Basically. I must get out of here. Come closer. I don't, I don't bite. bite. All right, Horny Toad. It's your boy, Horny Toad. Skitter out from the darkness. You dare. I'm gonna hold the box for later. I should have blocked with. What didn't I block with this? Oh my god, I derped. I derped, I derped, I derped. Why didn't I block with this guy? God damn, Miguel. Ah, Miguel. Miguel, what are you doing? That was the perp. Why did I. Why did he attack with this? Why did he attack with that? Ah, 
Ah. I, I'm just like, I didn't, I never expected to attack with, why, why would he ever attack with this? I think I keep the box here at this point, right? I go for the box here. Yeah. Cause it, it, it kills that too. It also level up, levels up Swain. I don't need to play into this. I know he's running like at least one ruination, so I I, I don't need to. Is worth at least twice as much. Like he, as long as the Leviathan's on the board, he just can't. Like I don't have to play into his game. Like I'm gonna slowly kill him. So he has to be proactive. I threaten to level up the lease here. Smooth as silk. These waters are mine. I'm dragging this because he could always, uh, he could, he could level up. Okay. What random effects, dude? What random effects? Seriously? Oh, because this fucking thing. They, they need to code that better, man. They really do. Do I play Swain now? I do, right? There's an argument for me not playing Swain. But I, I need to clear that so that I can stun Nautilus this turn. Yeah, this combo is really powerful now. We have a lot of card draw, we have them locked down here. Blech. What's that noise? He could have another Riptide. Where are 
Maio? I know I should lead off with this, but if he has a way, if he has a way to level up uh, Nautilus, then he has to block here. It doesn't really make a difference, but I'm gonna threaten Lethal with all these. But to be fair, I should be leading off with Swain instead. Attacking with this may have been a mistake, right? Still dead. So attacking with the Leviathan is actually a mistake, right? Whew, all right. All right. Attacking with Leviathan is a mistake, right? Because what if he had Withering Whale plus Riptide? I mean, if he has Withering Whale plus Riptide, I kind of lose anyways. No, I don't deserve... As long as I keep the Leviathan in the back, I don't. So I, I never should have attacked with the Leviathan there. Oh, but he, but he actually leveled up with Atrocity. He actually leveled up with Atrocity, so never mind. Heimer Vi. I'm gonna drop Swain. I'm gonna keep the, the rest of the hand. Uh, Glimpse Beyond is really good in this matchup. I'm worried about Thermogenic Beam. So I'm gonna pass here, There's nothing to fear. and I'm gonna play at least now. I walk my path alone. Was worried about that. I was worried about that follow up. Tread lightly, strike hard. No matter what I do. I mean, this, this, he only has an answer for a deny with this, so I'm gonna go with this. If he has a deny for this uh, Brood Awakening, then so be it. But I, I don't want to go for a Grasp with the Undying, because I'd rather go for Grasp. I'd rather go for Grasp versus Heimer. Alright, so now he's setting up the Thermo Beam. I think I should draw here, right? Now I drop the second and lease. I throw in a level up. Over enforcer on the scene. Hmm. Let me change into something more comfortable. I'm gonna float the mana. Really have anything for this? It's not giving it to me.
I must. I'm trying to bait. Gotcha. Wanna bait that out of him? Unforeseen outcome. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Did he discard? Did he have like three of those? He had three of those. Bias in time. Dark in the sky. Empire for above all. By my hat, the Noxus rise. Grand General. Oh man, if only I had one more mana. If I go for this, I think I have to go for this now. Why, why are they not exact copies? Why are they not exact copies? Why is this card bugged? Visual bug. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh. It sucks that we've only run into like one burn deck all this time. Uh, I'm gonna have to for this matchup. Vile Feast is actually pretty good for the Jaw Hunters. The box is pretty, like, the box is actually pretty neat. This is not a bad hand at all. I'm gonna drop you. I'm gonna drop the skitter. I actually don't mind this hand. Like, I think the box is really strong here. 
least early on. I know what lurks in the shadow. We could use a bite. into something more comfortable. I we leveled up at least really early on. Horny Toad can't do shit. <laughs> horny, I'm sorry, Horny Toad. You're uh, you're not doing anything, buddy. Um, I wish I could. I, I, I would love to. I'm gonna play Swain. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Glory, courage, excuses for war. Like, there's no reason to not play Swain here. Swain is representing a lot of damage. I have challengers in case he plays something that can block me. Like this is this is a big hit, dude. Danger pays. Yeah, man, Greatest this is crazy. Ooh, ooh. So that was a bit weird. He gave like a shitload of health for a second there. Whoo! Oh, I hit though. Ain't nobody got time for that with less stealth than me, so. Okay, so Elise. I'm not gonna drop Elise because uh, right now. I'm playing into a thermogenic beam. So I, I want to make an awkward for him. I want to make it real awkward for him. I'll take the pass there. I pull the strings. You won't suffer long. something more comfortable so I, I was expecting a thermogenic beam there but he didn't have it he didn't have an answer for release which is really neat I mean he just threw it I kind of want to deal with this I could also go for this but The reason why I want to deal with this, I, w I want to open up here. If I do this. Hello. 
have to be aggressive. This is representing massive damage. It forced him to have like a static shock here. And even if he does have a static shock, it's still like a lot of damage. Ah, that sucks. Time for a true display of skill. the kind of topic I need because if, if I don't play Brutal Awakening there a good player passes Could have a health potion. <laughs> 